the consistency challenge. Do you do it? Have you joined in the fun yet? Well, if you've missed out the past few months, it's okay. It's all good. This free challenge myself and the Tough Love Mom Co. puts on monthly is foundational. Today, you're going to learn all about why I created it, what it is. I mean, you're going to learn about what it is for sure, and why you need to participate each and every month. Eek! I can't wait. Now, it's great and all. Like the consistency challenge is amazing. It creates community. It creates consistency in your life, obviously. But if it just isn't doing the job to get you to make lasting, sustainable change, that's okay. What we focus on each month is one simple habit, and you likely need to figure out what your specific starting point is for your journey. We're picking simple habits to do this consistency challenge with, and sometimes that's not the starting point that you uniquely need because everyone's is different and yours is too. It's unique and it can be hard to figure out because I know that you're overwhelmed by motherhood. You're trying to keep up with all these schedule changes that are constantly going on with your little ones. And you're sitting here looking at how far you have to go on your journey from where you're at right now. Like that's a lot to take on and to think about. And so that's why I created starting point sessions. So you and I can sit down and dig into what your life looks like right now and what you want it to look like so we can determine what your one unique starting point is. Because in all honesty, it might not be what we're doing in the consistency challenge, and that's okay. You can do that on top of it. But when you finally figure out what your unique starting point is and have a plan to attack it, have a plan to follow through, and you get accountability from me, you will create sustained change over time. Your mindset will start changing, your thinking will start changing, and you will truly be able to master those habits that create a healthy lifestyle overall. Because I know you know this change doesn't happen overnight, and you've got to start in the right place. You have to know where to start so you're not overwhelmed, you're not trying to do all the things at once, and then imploding, right? We all have done that where we try to make all the changes at the same time, and then we give up because we're burnt out, we try to do too much at once, It's just not the way to do it. And so we're going to figure out what your one starting point is and come up with a plan to do it consistently so you can build on top of that, figure out your stepping stones down the road. So if you want to book one of those sessions, you need to go run to the toughlovemom.com backslash coaching because they run out really fast and they truly will help you determine where you need to start on your journey so you don't feel overwhelmed anymore and so you can get going on the right track towards weight loss, towards confidence, and towards truly living that healthy lifestyle. So I'll see you on there. Head to thetuffloveblom.com backslash coaching for pricing, packages, and booking your session. Hey mama, welcome to the Tough Love Mom Podcast. I know you're here because you're ready to get consistent and finally lose that weight and you're not afraid of a little tough love. You know what to do to lose weight, but following through on those things feels impossible. You wish you could just feel like your strong, confident self again and want to be a good example for your little ones, but you get thrown off by mom guilt and the unpredictability of motherhood. It's frustrating. Taking on your journey postpartum is hard, but it's not impossible. Hey, I'm Liz, and I've been where you are. I gained a lot of weight in my pregnancies, 90 pounds and then 60 pounds. I needed to lose that weight to take control of my health and honestly just wanted to feel like myself again. With a sustainable approach to weight loss, simple consistency, and working on my mindset, I lost it all in just over a year both times, and I'm here to help you do the same. I believe that we have an ingrained ability to figure out what we need to do, make it happen, and do it in a way that awes the world. If you're ready to stop falling off the wagon, create solid routine and healthy habits, and finally feel your best inside and out, all while enjoying dino nuggets on your salad, you are in the right place. We're about to transform your journey, my friend. Get pumped up. It is tough love time. So just about six months ago when this podcast launched, I knew you needed more than just reels and posts on social media that you had the chance to see for like a few days, right? Those, the turnover on those is so fast. And those honestly just leave a hint of motivation that lasts a few, few seconds. They're just, it's not lasting. And I personally, just to be totally transparent, was a little sick of the rat race of constantly having to come up with content that wasn't going to be that impactful on you which is a big reason you hear me right now in your earbuds or your car speakers, because I wanted you to get not just quick wins, but tangible results. I wanted you to start implementing things in your life. And 
it's important that you can hear my heart and that you can hear where I'm coming from and that you're actually getting results from what you're learning. So that's a big reason I started this, but getting you quick wins and tangible results from all the goods here needs to coincide with having community and accountability around simple habits that would get you moving forward in your journey because it's great to learn, but if you're not doing anything about it, it don't matter. So that's why I created the consistency challenge. That's what it hit me in March. I was like, oh, this is, this makes sense. A consistency challenge that's simple and takes like five seconds for me to create and come up with, but that impacts you for life. So what is it? What is the consistency challenge? Every single day for a full month. So February, you're doing it for 28 days. June, you're doing it for 30. August, you're doing it for 31. Those are the only months I can think of that I know the exact dates. I seriously, whatever that finger thing is, where you can tell how many days are in the month, I don't know it. I never learned it, and I still don't know it, and that's fine. That's what Google's for, right? So every day for a full month, (laughs) you do one simple habit, one. And I mean, sometimes it seems like stupid simple. You're like, hmm, Liz, uh, really? This is all we're doing this month? Yes. Yes, it is. In April, it was 20 minutes of physical activity every single day. So walk in, yoga, you know, some extra stretching, whatever it is, 20 minutes of some physical activity, you're moving your body, you're being intentional and you define it for yourself. For some woman that meant breaking a sweat. For some woman that meant I'm like getting up off my butt and working out, whether it's a recovery workout and I'm foam rolling and stretching, or I'm going for a walk or I'm going for a run or I'm doing a guided workout or I'm going to the gym. I mean, you define it for yourself, but April, it was 20 minutes of physical activity every single day. In May, we did a mile a May, mile, oh my goodness, I always butcher this, a mile a day in May. Whether it was running or walking or crawling or skipping, you were taking on your two feet a mile a day or more, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Some days I ran two or three, some days I walked. Some days it was like walking back and forth to the splash pad with my kids, totaling a mile, whatever it is, we did a mile a day in May. In June, aka what we are doing right now, what we're in the thick of starting is drinking a gallon of water a day in June. And I know that sounds like a lot, but there's reason behind it. And it's because it's really hard for us to stay hydrated. We often are drinking a lot of liquids, coffee, tea, soda pop, whatever you call it. I call it pop, Midwest thing, but you're drinking more that's just not hydrating you enough. So we're drinking a gallon of water every single day in the month of June. And what you get to stay consistent with that is a tracker that you can post to your Instagram or your Facebook stories every single day so you can keep consistent with it and get that public accountability. What's amazing and what I've come to learn just sharing my journey for years is that (laughs) if you don't show up in the way people expect you to or you know, when you share, you're going to do something, they'll call you out and they'll go, Hey, I thought you were doing X, Y, Z, or I haven't seen you do this in a few days. Are you okay? And so being able to share that tracker publicly on your stories, you know, wherever you share Instagram or Facebook stories, being able to share that tracker, not only gives you the accountability of following through, it might just spur other people on to also get intentional about their consistency with these simple, 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 simple habits. And what's amazing is when you do it over time, these consistency challenges, the tasks that we're doing in them becomes habit and stuff like walking more often, drinking more water, being physically active consistently will become part of who you are. They're just going to become habits. So why I'm already getting into my next point. That's what the consistency challenge is. It's one simple habit that you do every single day for a full month. It's that simple. I know you're like, really? Yes, really. Because our health and living a healthy lifestyle is built on doing simple things. It really is not complicated. It's not all these supplements and biohacks and all those things are great. Like they really can help your health overall. But if you're not doing the foundational stuff that includes having a structured routine and sleep, getting good, good, deep sleep, making sure that you're fueling your body with more whole foods than processed foods, drinking enough water, keeping your body and your cells and your organs hydrated, and then moving your body so it can stay strong and active and get good blood flow. I mean, those are foundational. And so that's what we focus on. Okay. So why should you be doing it? Need I say more? (laughs) I think I've already said this like five times, but a simple habit plus consistency equals some change. And we're here for that, right? So also 
But and beside that, beside the fact that you really will create change by doing the simple things consistently. Some of the moms in this, you're going to be like, skirt, what, Liz? Some of the moms who have done this with me the past few months, and this is, again, it's totally free. I just post, like I, I share I share the tracker in a couple places where you can go grab it and we just get to work. So a couple of the moms who have done this with me the past few months have fallen off. And you're like, wait, Liz, that's not the point. Well, my friend, you are missing the whole point. These moms that had off days or missed a few days for whatever reason, you know what they did? Instead of throwing in the towel, they got back on the horse. They got back on the on the cart. You know, if we were talking about falling off the wagon <laughs> a few months ago, but they got back up after falling off. They said, you know, what? I'm still going to finish strong. There's other people still going. There's other people who have messed up too. And they just kept going. So I'm going to get back up too. That's amazing. How often do you fall off of something and just get right back up? That's hard. But when you're doing it alongside other women, when you're doing it and knowing it's for a deeper reason than just doing it, you're doing it so you can be consistent, so you can create a truly sustainable lifestyle, you're going to you're gonna get back up. And that's what these women, that's what these moms did. Isn't that amazing? So even if you're like, I don't know if I can do that consistently or perfectly. I mean, that needs to be like a word we don't use here. But even if you're worried about that, that's okay. Just start. And if you do fall off, guess what? You're going to get back up faster than you would have otherwise. The past few months I've, uh, of doing these challenges, I've also heard some amazing things time and, time and time again. So some of them being, I've never been this consistent with exercise. And that was when we were doing just 20 minutes of physical activity, any type, a day. Another thing I got to hear a lot that just, mm, it makes me want to like go do cartwheels for real. When I get really excited about stuff, I get giddy and legit could like go run laps around my house. Um, This is the first time that I've fallen off but gotten back up so quickly, like I just told you. So many moms are so self-critical when they mess up or aren't perfect. And so many women have been freed of that in doing this. Another thing I've heard, these free consistency challenges have helped me get out of my rut so much. And sometimes that's all you need. It's like, okay, we're trying, we're in a rut because we're trying to do too much or we've fallen off so many times that we're discouraged when really you just need to do simple. You need to start simple. And another benefit is it's free. (laughs) It is totally free. The days leading up to a new month. So the tail end of the month prior, I post the tracker on my Instagram stories. I also text it out to my text list. So if you want If you want that straight to your phone so you can just save the image and then use it every single day, text tough love, two words, to 205-809-7300. That'll get you on my free text list. I just send out some tough love once a week and you will get first dibs on these trackers. So you never miss it and you never get to miss a month again. You'll get to be part of this every single month. Um, So just text tough love to 205-809-7300. And I also post it over in the Tough Love Mom Squad every single month, too, on on Facebook, our Tough Love Mom Squad. And throughout the month of each consistency challenge, I'll do some periodic check-ins where I just share what's going on with me or asking how you guys are doing with with the challenge. So I promise you won't miss it as long as you're plugged in in one of those areas to the Tough Love Mom Co. and myself. So one of the coolest things, and I think this is one of my favorite parts that have come of these challenges is the organically created accountability pods or these little accountability groups. These moms are coming across each other who are sharing it and they're finding commonalities. Like what? They're finding commonalities and connecting and then tagging each other in their stories and saying, hey, show up today, friend. Like I showed up, did you yet? You know, I'm doing this. Oh, and it's so cool. It is so cool. That community that we all really crave as moms because it can feel really lonely the consistency that you need to actually create a healthy lifestyle and the simple, simple, simple habits that end up building that healthy lifestyle or what you get out of doing this. So what's holding you back? Is it the habit that we're doing each month? Are you looking at it going, oh, I don't really need that one. I'm going to skip this month. Or is it one that you're like, oh, that's not going to make a huge difference in my life, like a gallon of water a day for real? And no. Okay. Well, can I tell you a secret? You're not going to make all of the changes that you want to make in your journey by doing them all at once. If you look at these simple habits and you go, that's too simple. Well, you're probably making it too complicated. 
Okay. Believe me, I have tried. I have tried to do all the things at once. And all that does is burn you out and make you fall off and go back to what you were doing before after a few weeks or a few days. And I'm guessing you've done that too. And that's why you're still stuck. And I'm just calling you out in love because I have been there. And you're either, you know, you might, you might even be at that point where you're stuck because you're just so sick of failing time and time again, or you're fearful that you're going to fail again. Okay, a simple singular starting point is what you need. And these consistency challenges have amazing, (laughs) simple starting points. But if you do need guidance, finding yours, what your specific starting point is, that's specific to your life and your journey, that is my job. Or like I said, you can just do the consistency challenge each month until you finally have that light bulb moment and it all starts working out. Either way, do something. Either way, start doing the consistency challenge or go book your session, okay? Because (laughs) I promise you need to just focus on the simple things and that is what will make the change. You can find the consistency challenge posted over in the Tough Love Mom Squad. You can text me for it. Uh, Again, that's 205-809-7300 and I'll send it your way or you'll see it in my stories. So all that being said, jump in, sister, and go get after it. Before you go, thank you for spending this time with me on the Tough Love Mom podcast. If this episode encouraged you in any way, the number one way you can thank me is to leave a review letting me know how this show has impacted you. Then send this episode to another mom friend or take a screenshot, post it on social media and tag me so I can personally thank you for helping me on this journey to impact thousands of moms. I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you, sister. Until next time, get after it.